with our World Week and with our World Missions Gift Day on the 16th of May, I want us to think about our vision of raising the next generation and the amazing way God is helping us do that around the world. So naturally, working with students involves raising the next generation. Uh, we have this core group of Christian students who we are training for and equipping for ministry in the future. Helping others to uh, have effective training so they can serve their locations in the wider body of Christ. We see God's huge heart for the world through this big story of the Bible that we're thinking about on Sundays. And as we uh, see also in the news just so much need in our world, I think of a place like India, which is being so severely affected by the COVID pandemic at the moment. Let's let our hearts be moved and stirred. We have this heart for four priority areas, the poorest of the poor, in places like India, where for many years we've supported work amongst the Dalits, some of the most trafficked and uh, abused people in the world, 250 million of them. And as we pray for them, uh, let's remember the school and the church that we support there and pray that God would use our giving to touch many lives. We think of the poorest of the poor in places like Addis Ababa and the amazing work of strong hearts that we partner with. We do church planting and uh... Uh, we, we, we also involve in our child care programs as well as setting up education for kids and also a hospice program for uh, dying patients. But as well as the poorest of the poor, there are places where there is no church in North Africa, even in Europe. And we've been thinking recently of the huge needs in France for the gospel and the hope of Jesus Christ. Part of our job will be to um, organise short-term mission trips with um, French nationals but also foreign teams and be working together to share Jesus with some of the most least reached um, people in France. And then there are our persecuted brothers and sisters. Praise God for open doors and ministries that are happening through uh, helping refugees. And in all of this we want to serve with uh, existing partners whom God has given us in these days. So let's pray, let's be willing to go, and let's give. Let's give generously, as 2 Corinthians 9 verse 7 says, cheerfully, and even let's give sacrificially, even in these strange financial times. For God loves a cheerful giver. So please join me in praying, being willing to go, and in giving. May God bless you.